Hello, it's um 12.04 p.m. I'm surprised the sun is out. But there's still got some clouds, but I'm surprised the sun is out. And I didn't get to get sleep last night. And then it rained really bad this morning. And now it's, um, you know, the sun is out. And it seems like the ground is dry. But it's supposed to rain again um, tomorrow. I'm sorry, um, in the middle of the night. And I think tomorrow and tomorrow night. Now it looks a little cloudy again, but the sun was just out and it was just hot. I don't know if it's gonna do some more raining. But, um, so, I mean, I guess my sleeping bag could get dry. I don't know if it can get dry or just less damp throughout the day. And then tomorrow, um, I mean, and then, but tonight it's supposed to rain again. It's supposed to rain again. I mean, rain again tonight. And um, like I think it's supposed to rain throughout Wednesday. I have been trying to, um, you know, I wish for self-employment, but I've still been trying to look for another job that I possibly can do. Um. I'm feeling, as I say, I'm feeling depressed and scared about my situation. And with this tooth abscess, I need to find a, I don't have the money for a dentist and I need to find um, an emergency dentist or something. I would hate to go that route, but um, I haven't been able to have the convenience to do oil pulling with um you know i haven't been able to have the convenience to do oil pulling like with the coconut oil or brush my teeth and stuff like that because of being out here and stuff so i can't believe people like y'all don't have the authority to execute judgment and punishment and condemnation on me y'all don't you know um i'm talking about the online perps they don't have a right to do this and the ones in person as well and you know everybody is working extra hard to try to discredit me and you know, even the popular fakes going around bullying the real targets and calling us a fake target. You know, it's like, as I said, y'all targeted individuals, each bit of abuse and hurt y'all do to us, y'all get paid. And y'all know y'all get paid. So why why is it a scam and a fraud to try to um have you know help with four dollars for um just some beans and rice to eat or some or, or a hotel room to try to stay a cheaper hotel room to try to stay out of the rain and and you know the only way to get help with the um the $40 hotel room, in which I'm now wrongfully banned from there. Um, it's like you would have to do like the whole week in order to like, like stay in a hotel room for a whole week in order to get like $30, um, you know, included. It's actually $35 plus tax and $39 or something per night, but you have to do it seven nights in a row and that's how it works but um i'm wrongfully banned from that place but they have some uh, uh, and i'm banned from that um the super six as well and but they were like during the fall and winter they used to be like um 330 dollars a week plus 330 something dollars per week plus tax and then like 380 something dollars a week and then there's another um, extended stay that's, um, 
and the price varies throughout the day, but then I was told it's like 500 something per week. But, you know, it's very hard to try to get any sleep or get any rest, even when I'm in the hotel because of being targeted. You know, they keep you, they use the direct energy weapons to keep me sleep deprived and sometimes totally deprived for days. And, you know, I don't have access to a vehicle, a car, a truck, van, what, or SUV or nothing. You know, and some targets, you know, used to, you know, be rooting for me, encourage me, go ahead and, um, you, you know, one time, and that was the only comment he ever, 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 ever made on my, on one of my, um, channels. I'm not going to say this person's name, but a few others have said that too. Why don't you get a van to live in and ask for donations and you can live off of those donations, you know, since they freaking sabotage and deprive us from our own way of wanting to live. And then they reverse it on, they block you from working and then and they do that to homeless people too. If you're not targeted, they have these loopholes and excuses that they won't hire homeless, you know, and especially if you're stinky or if you don't, I have, um, you know, a, a mailing address, but y'all know what happens at the, um, waterfront mission, <coughs> you know, play with my mail. So I have to be just lucky to find an honest person who's not going to do that. You know, that, that young kid was so rude and disrespectful to me. Um, the last time I went there, I don't even remember what his name is offhand. But, um, a lot of these places I'm banned from, you know, I got to go where I'm welcome. So, I mean, I was able to panhandle some money to have, like, a really good, decent breakfast, you know, and I had that burger in the middle of the night, you know, so, um, it's, I, I mean, I got somewhat of a headache right now. It's starting to get more cloudy. The sun was out for a while, you know. And the sun being out and it being warmer, it helped me sleep a little better. I was able to take a nap. And um, after 5 o'clock, I went and sat somewhere and tried to get out of the rain. And I was scared to try to let myself go to sleep, but I started to doze off and was having micro-sleeps. And they, they had the lady with the, um, she usually has the black Buick and Vision, but today she had the um, blue van. The blue mini, the blue handicap minivan. And it's like I can never catch her because she always catch me off guard at the last minute. And it's really creepy the way she rides by and stuff like that. She ought to go to jail or prison and get her vehicle confiscated as well. Like people say that some of these gang stalkers that they have, you know, done so many hardcore satanic rituals that you can just see. They're just like a walking demon in the flesh, you know. And the main people, as I said, the main people who say that targeted individuals need to stick together are the main fake T.I. perps causing division. They're the ones sowing discord amongst the brethren or the T.I. community. Um, and picking fights and arguments with people, you know, just calling you fake for no reason or look for an excuse to call. Well, how you expect us to band together? I think that you should be quiet and watch enough the videos of a person to determine whether or not they're real or fake. Come to your own clu conclusion rather than just going by hearsay. But then they have some people who show footage of being gang stalked and claim to be a Christian, but then they turn around and perp you. That's confusing, though. Or, or they'll say something like bothersome or abusive to you and stuff, you know. So, 
I'm, I mean, I feel as a, I, I mean, other homeless, I, I mean, I try to see about if other people thought being homeless felt like a punishment. I guess I'm the only one who thinks that being homeless is a punishment. Or, or you know, I feel like being homeless is a punishment that I don't deserve. <laughs> And, you know, as, I mean, I'm here on the streets and still being attacked with the directed energy weapons and being gang stalked, you know. But when I came out here to Pensacola and also when I left that place in um, Jefferson, Louisiana and Gretna, Louisiana, because when I had a place, everything be fine and normal. And then once I'm in that apartment or a house, Section 8 home for three minutes, I mean, I'm sorry, after the third day, then they um go they go to town with those directed energy weapons so hard they go to town and then um you know you confront neighbors and they threaten your life and stuff like that they just do it all you know and and they and they seemingly unemployed and they got a car and they got a car and a place to live and they're unemployed and they stay there just gang stalking and torturing you all day long so, um, for like when I was on the streets in New Orleans and when I was on the streets here in Pensacola, they did not, I mean, I would get occasional like attack to my head or something or and they would keep me sleep deprived, but they left me alone about the vibrating for over a, like for, um, I'll say almost two years, you know, and then they ramped it back up again. And I thought I had some relief with, you know, but now I have to be on the streets and st they still cook my organs and vibrate me and stuff. I even try to go sleep in a different spot and they still cook me. I mean, they still, um, you know, I, my organs hurt just even thinking about it. So I got my eBooks out. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm blacklisted in the TI community. So, you no, know, pe people don't care to pay attention to my ebooks. It's like as if I'm doing all this in vain. I'm trying. And then the perps act like they think they have the authority to dictate that I'm not a writer or I'm not an author or she calls herself an author. Like they put it in quotes, like as if I'm a joke just because they're mad because I spoke out against them. And I will speak out against your ass again, too. You know, how is it clout chasing off of people's name? My books aren't even getting any sales. And plus, I, I don't even charge that much. I will even offer my ebooks for free. And I will even, like, charge a low price of $2.99. I don't really charge $9.99. And I don't think I ever charge $9.99 for any of my ebooks. So... And then supposed targeted individuals, what they do is they'll act like as if they want to, when they cool with me, they want to be like, well, I hope you get help with the money to get a hotel room. And then once, um, and they keep, they're, you know, pushy about it. Like, well, you need to get your rest. You need to get your hotel room <clears throat> and stuff like that. And then the moment they betray me and turn against me, oh, she's a, she's a scammer and she's, um. You know, using people for money and living in luxury at other people's expense. And she committing fraud. She can go to jail for that. But you, when, when we on good terms, you'd be like, oh, I hope you get, get help, ask for money to get you a vehicle or help with a vehicle or get help with a hotel room or something. But now when you get married, I mean, you may get mad, um, your, your narrative changes. Your narrative changes once you get angry with me. They got these perps sitting right across from me. They got... I don't even know if they're aiming their phones at me or one of them looking, giving me a mean look. They got all those benches over there and they come sit by me. It's three of them. And they all got their phones and they come sit by me. I mean, right across from me. That's only one of them. <clears throat> but the girls sitting there giving me mean looks. I mean, they got all those benches over there and they come sit right across from me. I got my earbuds in, so I can't hear anything outside, thank God. <clears throat> so I can't go to that O'Reilly's place across the street right there because of that incident that happened. 
so I gotta try to find somewhere else to eat lunch. It's 12:19, so I'm gonna try to go for now. I'll see y'all.